This is a hidden PDRA. It is the inversion fair value gap. In this video, I will show you what it is and how you can utilize it for your narrative as well as entries. So to begin with, this is a familiar concept for most of you, but what is a fair value gap? It takes the form of three candles. In this example, we are looking at a bearish fair value gap or a SIBI, sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. It is the gap between the first candle's low and the last candle's high, like so. From here, you would anticipate price to come back to rebalance this fair value gap before continue in its intended direction. In this example, it will be a bearish direction. However, sometimes you don't get that. Instead, price would disrespect this fair value gap with a full body closure and reverse from here. This is where you would get your inversion fair value gap. You can use this inversion level for your retracement slash entries to continue price higher. Now let's look at examples on your chart and how you could utilize them for your trading. So if you are still confused on how an inversion level work, then how you could think of it is depending on what the narrative of price is, you have your buy curve and your sell curve. So buy curve is when price is rallying higher in simple terms, and then your sell curve is when price reverses and then it declines. Vice versa if this was in a bullish market. So the sell side would be when price declines and then when price gives you that smart money reversal, that is when the buy curve gets initiated, right? This is on a bullish market. If we focus on this bearish example, an inversion is when a key level on the buy curve gets traded through on the sell curve and then once it gets traded through, price will then come back to mitigate it before declining lower. Now because price is factual, just because price comes back to this inversion level doesn't mean it can keep coming back to the same level, right? Because if you look here, this is a miniature sell curve and a miniature buy curve. Sell curve. Buy curve. You have an imbalance. Price trades through it. So now this becomes your inversion level and look at what price does. Price then retraces back into that level before it continues higher. But look here, if I keep drawing that out, you can see at the same level, we had accumulation. Essentially playing around the same inversion level again before it distributes lower. So that is the basic way you could view inversion levels. Price trades through it. And then it comes back and revisits the same level. If we ignore time frames for now and ignore any narrative being built, let's look at your first example solely on inversion fair value gaps. Here. So price trades through that fair value gap, creating an inversion fair value gap. And now you can see it retraces back into that level before it expands higher. Here's your second example. Fair value gap gets created here. Price trades through it, creating an inversion level. You can anticipate for price to come back to that level before it distributes lower. So now you understand the basic principle behind inversion fair value gaps. Let's look at how you can build a narrative surrounding it and how you can utilize it for your entries. Here is one example. We're in a bullish uptrend on the higher time frame. The higher time frame being my daily time frame. Because we are in a bullish uptrend, you would want to see discount arrays be respected and premium arrays be disrespected. If you look at this price segment, we have this fair value gap in the form of a premium array. It gets disrespected and traded through because we are in a bullish uptrend. So because it got traded through, this now becomes your inversion level. You can anticipate for price to come back and continue higher or disrespect it completely and continue expanding. So this is an inversion fair value gap. It comes down, retraces, and then it continues higher. So that confirms we are in a bullish uptrend. Not only does this respect the bullish inversion fair value gap, but it also takes out an old low. Again, an old low being the last array in the PD matrix, so it's very significant. Here, what gets left behind? A large imbalance. So price taps into the imbalance, and now let's go down into the hourly and wait for it to align with our higher time frame bullish direction. Once it aligns with our higher time frame bullish direction, we can look for longs on the lower time frame. Again, literally the same thing. We have a fair value gap that gets created. Price trades through that fair value gap. This could be your first sign that price is going to reverse because it disrespects a fair value gap in the form of a premium array, also known as a SIBI. So as it's disrespecting a premium array, this is your first telltale sign that we could possibly see a bullish reversal from here. 
and in the process of doing so, it creates an inversion fair value gap. So ideally, if we wanted to see more conviction for a bullish reversal here, we would want to see price respect this inversion fair value gap before it continues higher. It retraces, right? Respects that inversion fair value gap, and then it continues higher. In the process of respecting that inversion fair value gap, we create a high here, the price breaks through, and then price 10 comes down and further respects this kind of raise in the form of this bullish order block. Then it continues higher, giving you another break. So here, this is where you could look for your entries. Here we have this mitigation block, extending that out. When price comes, when price comes into it, we could go down to a lower time frame, look for longs to take out your draw on liquidity, which is now this, right? Price retraces. Let's go down to the five minute and look at what we have here. Price sweeps. Price sweeps that low and then it shows a displacement higher. There's a full body closure past this fair value gap. So because it has a full body closure past this fair value gap, not only is it a change in step delivery, but it also becomes your inversion fair value gap. So because we had a change in step delivery after sweeping out this low, tapping into your one hour bullish order block in line with your higher time frame bullish direction, this is where you can have your longs. Stop loss below that low. You can enter at the open of the inversion fair value gap and then target your overall drawing liquidity, which is this buy side liquidity. So let's play price out and see what it does. And then it continues higher, taking out your draw on liquidity. Now we have a second example. In this scenario, we are bearish. Price is disrespecting discount arrays and respecting premium arrays. What does price have here? Price sweeps the sell side liquidity and it's showing a bullish reaction higher, giving you a temporary market structure shift. And what could we anticipate for price to tap into before it continues lower to realign with your higher time frame bearish direction? This fair value gap that was left behind, it got traded through. So now that becomes an inversion level. So because this inversion level overlaps with a lot of the PD arrays here, such as this bearish order block, as well as this imbalance, and part of these mitigation blocks, this makes this inversion fair value gap much more powerful and it has more conviction for price retracing back into and taking out this trend line liquidity. Price retraces into the inversion fair value gap. And now, same process again. Let's drop down onto the hourly and wait for price to realign. Price sweeps this buy side liquidity and then it gives you a market structure break. So now you could confidently say, that we are now aligned with your higher time frame bearish direction. Off of this inversion fair value gap, this is where you could start to look for the same thing. We have these fair value gaps that gets left behind, as well as this, the price could retrace to before continuing lower and taking out the overall draw on liquidity, which is these trend line liquidity. So let's play price out. So here, this respects this inversion fair value gap, but it respects this one. Same process. Go into the five minute and see if it gives you that bearish confirmation on the five minute for your short entries. Price sweeps this buy side liquidity and then it has a strong displacement lower. Giving you a market structure break here. So there you have your market structure break. If you look closely, what gets left behind? A fair value gap, extend that out, price trade through it and now it becomes your inversion level. You can have your entry at the open, stop loss above these highs, and what would your target be? You can look to target this imbalance as your next discount array, ignoring the volume imbalance here. So because the higher time frame direction we are in is bearish, we will want to see discount arrays be disrespected. Hence why we could target this imbalance here as it's a discount array. Even though our overall drawing liquidity are these relatively equal lows here, it's unlikely that when we entered, we are going to hold all the way down to that low. Right, that's too much. This is simply to just help you build your higher time frame narrative. Because although you're entering on the lower time frames, you still need a draw on liquidity on the higher time frame to frame your narrative. Right? Hence why this could be our target. This could be our next target. So let's see if price comes back into that inverted value gap and then taps into this imbalance. Paired up with the fact that if you look here, we have a lot of trend line liquidity. So it taps into that. And if you look here, we have another inversion level. 
So here, price trades through it. And this could be possibly another skirling if you wanted to enter into another position. And then stop loss just above this high. And then you would target the same imbalance. And there you have it. You're in two positions, one for 2.5R and one for nearly 4R, which is a scaling off of this inversion level. So in total, 6.5R for this trade, targeting this imbalance. Utilizing your higher time frame narrative, which was bearish, you waited for it to tap into this fair value gap that became an inversion level. So price respects that inversion level. You would go down to the hourly, look for that bearish realignment with your higher time frame direction. And then it's simply just repeat because price is fractal. So that pretty much concludes this video regarding inversion fair value gaps. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below in the comments. If this video has helped you, please like and subscribe. Like always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.